Well, hello, friends. How's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General American Revolution. Although it's an easy campaign uh, difficulty thing, but anyways, never beat the game, so I'm just still playing it. So okay, so I finally got the Spanish. Um, four regiments to make one brigade for you know but there's only three in here now because i have to put one here um i just wanted to mention that i, I got unionville um they had i don't know they might add like three regiments in here um and then i captured two of them and then i think one ran off this way so um I had to break these down, um, like if you click on them and you, you uh, disband the brigade uh, so I could all give them a perk. Um, and then I put, then I took the French guy that was full regiment here, I brought him down to go with the three Spanish regiments to make a four brigade, you know, like a, a brigade of four of regiments. And then up here, we got this Spanish uh, regiment here. He's here so he can, you know, build back up to full strength. Um, because walking these guys from New Haven all the way down to here, they, they, because remember, each one of these regiments was 680 men. And by the time they got down here, each regiment was only 500 men. So they lost 120 men from New Haven all the way down to here, of just just walking or marching, whatever you want to call it. And so, but anyways, um, and I had to break them up because I had to put want somebody in here to hold this. Um, we're at 28 um, percent. I guess I could do that, but you know because. Uh, uh, churches might take a long time, so let me let me. And my, and my money's starting to go down again because I got a big navy and I got a big army. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm just trying to explain some stuff to you before we I get going into whatever I was going to show you. But anyways, um, print and press, and I think a church. Now it may take forever to do this, and I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because right now, um, these guys here are, are resting. So we have uh, three uh, regiments here of the Spanish. And as you can see, like I said, these guys were 500 when I attacked Unionville. And now, or Unionville, and, and now they're down to 480, 464, whatever. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't put many, as you can see, I, mean, I can't put many people in here. Now, as far as this place goes, we could put up to 16. Over here, we could put up to 2,000. So if I wanted to rest them, I could send, I could break these down and send them to different places so they could try to build up and stuff, but I think I'm just gonna go with what it is. And I finally got Green to have his, his last uh, perk because in this battle you know he was he had two perks and now he's got his final perk from that battle you can see his numbers are not 100 yet but you know what I mean he's the last general that I got and so you know I got to get him you know back up running running my general is still somewhere down here where we last left off in the game, I think, of the video that I made, maybe. And you can see these guys, my, my cab is back to full strength, but these guys are not. And we got these things that we're working on because of low of loyalty. And besides, I got a, I got, I'm paying like maybe 50,000 bucks a week for the officers that are all in all these regions trying to get the loyalty up. So at some point I'm gonna have to click here and then and then take these off. Um if you know whatever. But so I just wanted to explain that I that I got this place here. Every place else is on hold. Now if I go over to here 
Uh, this ship... I'll take a look at it. And it's Sunday right now on March 28th, 1779. So as soon as Sunday goes by, uh, my week has been paid, and then we start another week, and I'll get some officers, and I'll get some different things. But anyways, um... And a game's gonna... Oh, it's good, it's not running. Okay, good. I, I don't want it run when I'm just yakking away, because, again... I'm gonna plan. I'm planning on doing the sea battles, some sea battles for you. But, um, so I'm gonna go out with this ship. But I, I was just seeing if I could. Yeah, there's nothing else that I can do for this ship. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna come out because if you look here, right? The last time I came out, I killed the ships that were in here. And, and I'm going to take this ship and I'm going to go into here because they have two ships with 36 guns and I got 60 guns. So if they only got 36 guns, then it's that's something that this heavy frigate can take care of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this because I'm going to go into here and do that. But the other thing is um, we could possibly take this group and head to here to take this out because if we go to, or or if we like i don't know if i want to go deep into this like um because i was trying to think of a strategy of maybe coming over here to take this one out doesn't look like he's got much here and then we might come to take this and then maybe, uh, you know, we could take this. And I don't know if they got something way over here. Oh, yeah, look, they got something way down here. And they got something right over here. See, so my, my thought was, you know, in some ways I was thinking... Just like I could claim this place if I got somebody free to get there. But then again, if it's going to do to me what it did here uh, of having a French regiment here of 680 men and he got down to 16 and then he died. So I mean, I, I thought, so I believe I lost one full regiment of French. So that means I have 19 French left and I have 20 Spanish now. So, but anyways... So I don't think I lost a Spanish regiment yet. So that's one thought, because I don't want the game... I don't want this game... It's telling me I have to take Savannah. I'm afraid if I do take Savannah, then would the game end right here? Like, I, I don't know, because I've never been to this point in the game. And quite frankly, I don't want it to end. Now, if, you know, something happens to where, uh, I don't know if, like, if, if 1780 will happen or 1781, I don't know. Like, these are all things I don't know, and I know there's some people that beat the game three times already, but, uh, I haven't even beat it once. And so it's like I don't want to take, if, this, if Savannah's their capital, I don't want to take it yet, so... So that's why we're just sitting right here for now. I mean, I could try to... But if they got 5,000 here... You know, if they got 5,000 here, I'm not going to be able to take it for 2,000 anyway. So I mean... So maybe what I should do is move... move Maybe I should keep this here because, like I said, if that 5,000 came over here to attack, um, we could at least defend for a little while before we'd have to with, with go back to Charleston or something. So if they're just going to sit here, that's fine and dandy for me. So what I'm thinking is if we were to, t if we were to try to take the map o over in the west here, you know what I mean? I can slowly work this way. 
and, and try to cut them off. Because if I show you this, and then of course it's going to take me up to New England, but I mean, why don't the game show me the, 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 the network of where I clicked? I mean, so that's kind of ridiculous, but anyway. North Carolina. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, so look, if, if we. Like I said, if we take this, and then this, and then this. So I, I gotta think about this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to think about it. But this is what—that's what I was thinking. Is if we go to the west and take all this, because yeah, because this has got to be their capital. And if we take this, does the game end? And I, and I don't want the game to end at this point when I haven't, you know, totally dominated uh, the map and stuff like that and that's what I'm thinking so maybe what's here has to be what I could call a block and force to, to, to not I mean yeah if they move their 5,000 here they would beat me no doubt because I only have 2,000 but that would also weaken them if they do that because then how far can they go north on that and then I don't know about any more invasions and I don't know when the invasions are gonna come so this is why up north but let me go back to the map now so that so that's what I'm thinking anyways oh yeah seeing the game going I'm gonna pause again so okay so again that is my thought so in this video I wanted to do some sea battles but let me go up north for just a moment to show you my my ships up north so in New York you can see that they got 374 guns and seven ships um, and then my fleet which I just captured the ardent So we have the Ardent. I got nine pounders. That's about the most that I can put there. We got 18 pounders. And we could put 26s, but we got 18s. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the uh, 18s. And of course we got 24s. Um, and I, you know what I mean? And I, I think I have some 34s, but that was from the Razis. But anyways, um, that's it. So, so in other words, I'm telling you that I got the Ardent and I have uh, one of my frigates. This one, he's got 12 and 24s. So he's ready. So I could go out with these two ships, but these guys are still, it's taken a long time to get these uh, up to like these guys. Because don't forget, all of these ships were hurt. The first one that got done was this one, and then the second one done was this one, and now we're trying to get these ships done. So yeah. You can see that, you know, whatever, so. So, okay, so I'm going to go down here then. And, and maybe we'll move. Maybe I will move. Yeah, maybe I could just move this one. So if I move over to here with the general 
And so maybe I'll, I'll, because there's only one regiment here now. They, now they, by me moving, I'll leave this one here just in case they come back to fight. Because when we have one regiment here that's hurt, and he's going to be building up. And so I think I'm just going to leave him like this. Send those two over there. So in this video, I could do this little battle if you want to see it. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to take this ship. And I'm going to head to here. Because... I want to go after these guys right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now once he gets in here... So I'm only going in with one ship. And I'm going to say search for enemy ships. And we're going to fight them. 36 guns, which is two of these. So this is, this is going to be... A, this is be a fun little battle, I guess. You know, what the heck? It'll be a fun little battle. Because <laughs> I got a heavy frigate against two brigs of 636. I should have I known that, you know, it'd be two brigs of 36. I didn't even think of that, but it is. All right, so then... gotta go with the wind he you know he's going with the wind and like I said you know again uh, these brigs they're not powerful but you know if they knocked out a mass or something that would that would suck now one thing I can do is oh yeah and he didn't he didn't get the full sail come on let's go to full sail boy let's get going we gotta get going here Where's his other ship? Oh, his other ship is trailing over here. Now this volley's gonna go shot shooting at him and totally miss, but... But now we're gonna be on him, and we might as well go to canister because that's what he's gonna do probably is go to canister even though he's a small ship and we could probably we could probably i'll take it by guess you know what i mean let's see if we can i mean he shoot me up close so i am gonna, my ship is gonna get some damage but nonetheless probably go faster than me so I might not be able to get him and then I'll just decide to just destroy him but um, if we could reload I mean I'm going 12 knots but he's a light ship so he can go f he can go faster I guess The, the good thing is is that we're doing canister and that kind of disrupted him a little bit I think that volley so this is why I'm maneuvering to get him and so yeah there it is we did it so the canister shooting at that close must have been pretty good because that definitely slowed him up and he's wavering so you know we got more personnel than him, and we'll just we'll just drop that that unit on there. And 
so now that I got him, I'm gonna just go ahead and tell him to get going. Cause yeah, see, he was on canister. And now he's maneuvering to shoot me from behind, which is a good maneuver, but again. I'm not gonna do what he does, so I'm gonna move this way. to a solid shot because of the simple fact that he's a little bit away and so if I have to kill this guy that is what I will do a smart maneuver because he can then go with the wound this way to get behind me so again yeah I, I might have to turn around again yeah I should not have stopped to anchor because I was I was hoping to get another volley and I could do a volley now but I'm not in the right way of doing it so So again, like I said, he's only a brig, so I mean, it's not like you know, he's going to do serious damage to me. I mean, it'd be kind of funny about, uh, if he hit my magazine or something and blew me up. That, I mean, that would be hilarious, but <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't like it, but it'd be kind of hilarious for you to see that. Yeah, so, okay. So again, I'm going to pause right here. Not pause, but anchor it. Um. See, he's taking an advantage, like I said, uh, the advantage of the wind. But, like I said, if, if, if he's going to try to go behind me again, but hopefully I can get a good volley off. He just lost a gun. And... Hmm. Oh yeah, see I'm gonna shoot the figures. Okay, so we're gonna come this way again. Matter of fact, this side is already loaded up, so once if if I can if I can turn real quick. And there it is. Now <laughs> He just lost whatever he, I don't I don't even know what this is. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I played the Age of Sail, so I mean I I don't remember what all these icons are. I know that's a sinking icon. But I'm just gonna acre, I guess. He's, he's sinking. He's gonna go under. Yep. I mean, 
Let's see. I'm gonna watch this condition for a moment. I'm going as fast as I can, but I just want, like, like in all battles <laughs> and stuff, I want my my ship to be at full condition before I go to the global map. <laughs> Or get out of this, because you know. Now, they, th this, these were the only two ships in this sector, and um, so I took them out. And I'm just gonna wait for this to be a hundred percent. And this is what I've always liked about Age of Sail, and in this game now, that we can spend as much time in here as we want. And quite frankly, we could probably sail to the border and maybe get some experience, but um, we're done. There we go. So, okay. So this was a quick and easy battle. I mean, it was against just two brigs, and so that's fine and dandy. Uh, one sunk, one captured. Now, I won't keep this brig that I captured. I will sell it and stuff, but... This was just only because he was the closest one that I could do. And, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Now, up north in New York, of course, there's probably some third rates out there. And seeing that I captured my first uh, third rate in this particular campaign, um, I guess, you know, I could maybe just take one third rate and one heavy frigate out to show you another sea battle but um that's a possibility but then again if i'm going against okay so now in this sector we don't have any uh, british and this sector we don't and we don't know about what's in this sector. We don't know what's in that sector. This sector. Yeah, like I wonder. Yeah, because he here's what I'm thinking. Like, um, I'm wondering if I were to... Um, Okay, so we were here in uh, Wil Wilmington. Um, and I don't think I got any dry docks in any of these places because we just took these places over. But I'm wondering if they were to do a invasion, if I could try to intercept it, if I bring this ship down to here. You know? Um, it's a possibility. Because seeing, um, I cleared, you know, this sea zone and now uh, this one. So could I sail to Charleston? That is a possibility. So yeah, let, let me let me do that. So we'll we'll have this guy head this way. I could also come up to north here and take a look again at these ships. And like I said, the, there's a possibility I could take these two ships out and to see what we would find out here. But it would have been nice to go out with a five pack. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, I technically, I, 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 I technically could go out with the whole pack, but we are damaged. But we would have the personnel, so that way, if there's bigger ships that I could try to board, that would be a possibility. So I'm just sharing my ideas and my thoughts on this. Now these brigs over here are just doing their thing and oh now yeah li this seven pack is coming into this sector but you know if they destroy these I mean I don't 
don't necessarily care about it. So yeah, I mean, um, so that's uh, the other possibility. Okay, so now, um, how are we on the... Alright, so now these guys, are their condition is to here. And he's going to here. So if I just run the game and I don't see anything else going on, like, so if I run the game, just, just run it. Because we know Sunday pays and my money is going down, so I'm going to have to sell some stuff too. And I, I do hear shooting. Um, so, so they're fighting somewhere. Who the heck knows? Okay, so he he's here. Oh, there's shooting going on over here. Like I, I wonder. I don't I don't. Oh look 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 up here. There's there's shooting going on here. So who are they shooting at? So the the natives are actually fighting. Okay, so my ship. Or ships. So there is British ships here, but we don't know. We don't know. So maybe I can get this ship once he gets in here to go to the dock in Charleston. Or I don't think that I don't know if there's a dock here. Yeah, there is a dock here. Yeah, so what would happen if I go to here as as the dock? Oh yeah, they got 14 ships. 800 guns. Forget that. We're just gonna go into this dock right here. And now because it's Tuesday already. You see how fast time goes when you're in this game. Like two days, one five, whatever. Okay, so, um, again. Alright, so now, again, okay, so I'm gonna go with the guns instead of speed. So with him, he's gonna get that. And then I, I always kind of do this, like... Give him that perk, and I'll give him that perk too. And then we're just going to disband him. And by disbanding him, those guys should get back onto this ship here. And stuff like that. So, um, again, and then I can go... I can go to the ships. Yeah, I'm a little confused at the moment. Okay, well, those are the British ships that I sold. So now if I look at the cannons, you can see I have 74 six-pound field guns. I used to make those, but not anymore. Um, we got 200 uh, nine-pounders. We have 208 six-pounders. We got 42 32 pounders. Now, I don't know what ship I could put those on with 44 guns. So, 
so yeah i'm gonna have to uh, i want to look again again i don't want the game running for the moment because again i'm gonna come up here and take a look at the ardent one more time Yeah, see, it's not showing that I can use the 32 pounders, and I got 44 of them. So it's showing, I, so I guess that's all we can do is put the 24s, we, we can't put 32 pounders on here. Now how about my frigates? I wish I could uh, figure that out how this works, but anyways, uh, let, let's take a look at the frigates again. Alright, so we have 12 pounders here on this one. Now on this one we have 9 pounders. So I could go with 12. And so now this one has 9 and 12 pounders. But we don't have enough. Yeah, so you, so you can see that um, I am making 12 pounders. So at least I can swap out the 9 pounders when I get enough of the 12 pounders. And I think in technology wise, if I look at technology, You can see in this here, um, you can see that I got the 12 pounders, so that means I'm making 12 pounders right now. And so you can see, when I came up here, I, I unlocked the, the heavy frigates. And then. Uh, it appears I'm doing this right here. And so then, because I, I, I want to unlock these to see what I need to do for these. And at the same time, you know, I can then go for the 18 pounders and then we can do the 24s. And then we got the 32s down here. So, and then to unlock all this, you know, it took a long time. I mean, look at, I'm in, I'm in March of 1779. So, I mean, and I, and I got 90 rep. You know, I got 90 rep. And now I, I, I have found that I'm out of copper. So I'm going to burn some rep to get that copper right there. So as soon as this day passes. So you can see uh, at this point in the game, you can see that um, it, it appears that for my general, I left skirmishers open, and I'm putting all my thing into this art of war to get this in 139 days. And then the only thing that I have left to do in here is the skirmishers at 60 days so, i mean it, it's because this was the last general that i unlocked was green and 
And I can burn two to get that done. Alright, so I don't know what else I can do. Like, maybe I can do the land battle. Maybe we can do the land battle now, and then I could do one more sea battle, maybe. Just so that way there's a few things in this video that, you know, you can see. Um, and then I already explained my strategy of what I was going to do in the south here anyways. So let's, let's go ahead and attack here. I got one French regiment and three Spanish. Yep, and we'll go into this battle because um, my guys shouldn't be tired. They only walked a little ways, and we should be able to just overrun that fort. Um, and the thing about these is I don't have any artillery because, like I said, it's none of my units are in here. This is just uh, three Spanish and one French. And they got skirmishers instead of cannons or cavalry. <laughs> like they, they, yeah. And it's interesting that the both French and both uh, Spanish have two skirmishers in each regiment. So that's kind of interesting in some ways. So yeah, I mean, you know, this is four regiments, even though they're, they're hurt regiments, you can see how small they are. And then you can see the, the French, the, the French regiment was in a town who built up to 680. And so he's pretty, they're pretty strong. And so the fort is over here. Right. So, the idea with forts is we definitely want to surround them. Okay, so for the frontal part of this fort, I think French are going to go f in first because they're full. They're full, so... We'll put these three right here. So they got they they should have they should have that covered. So those guys will go there. We'll put to get his uh, he needs to max these out so we'll start and pause we'll send green up guys are gonna go to here like I don't know if if the if the I don't know if the people in the fort are gonna just run away and that's a possibility I mean I have a large force so 
so it's possible. So yeah, they, they might just run away. I mean, it's possible. So let's just let's just see what happens. So as they approach, we'll see if they're gonna run away. And advance quickly. Green has got to get up here. Let's go. So yeah, I mean they might they might run away, and and, uh, and you can't blame them because of the, this. I mean, I think I think the better strategy would be is to burn three days on the global map and just let this regiment, this brigade, uh, shoot at the fort. They would have eventually just left. Yeah, it's possible that they ran away. Let's get back to normal speed. Forward! So if, 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 if everybody, okay, see the, okay, okay, so the one problem, okay, so hold on, let's pause for a minute, okay, so the one problem that we got is, of course, they didn't run, and that's fine, but this line, uh, this line, and this skirmisher, and this one, are, are picking on this guy, and they picked on this guy here that ran back, but, because I put this guy and this guy on the gun, he's now falling back because we got we are flanking him. And so but but this but at this point, even though they, they they trashed this unit and they trashed this unit, what I'm gonna say is they could possibly stop running away. So so these guys are going right here. And uh, these two are gonna get over here. And this this group is getting over here. And these two are gonna head over there. And he's gonna shoot him. And these guys have gotta get to here. And then, like I said, if, matter of fact, if these guys can get get to here like that, we might be able to, you know, totally surround them. And that's the whole point of this. So let's go ahead and see. And then Green has got to get up to here to give better morale to these guys. 
So, alright, so let's go ahead and try it. When, the, when it says block, then you just gotta move the person. Okay, so we're, clo we're closing in on get over here. Okay. So even, you know, I'll tell you, one full bridge in a fort is, is uh, not gonna... Oh, did we get them? Okay. Did we get them all? Okay. We didn't have to have everybody charge in. Or okay. Cool. Okay. So this is the way. Like I said, this is the way. I mean, like I said, uh, my initial line right here. As you can see, when the three infantry, a skirmisher, and a gun shooting at you, it, it, they concentrate on one, that's how the AI works, but this gave me time, you know, to, the reason I sacrificed those guys was because it keeps them busy while we try to surround the fort, and now that we got the fort, and so we have uh, one, two, that's my guy. It's three, four, five. So we don't have the sixth uh, company, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. No, we, we have six. Where is this other guy that I don't see? Oh, the swim issue here. Okay. So yeah, so they had they had a, a they had a, they had one company of artillery, they had one structure, and then they had four line uh, guys. So what I like to do is uh, let's see if we can find a border. Hey, this is a nice long map. Look how long this map is. Alright, so I just basically told these six guys to leave. Now, unfortunately, the way this goes, we always get them to be broken out of the officer unit or regiment that they're in. Whenever they start to waver. And I know Panda Crow. He's working on to make that not happen, where these guys will stay within the officer or the regiment or the the uh, regiment that they're in. But and so the one thing that we always like to do when the fort has ammo, and that's why I got the enemy out of here.
see, wherever the red is, they don't have ammo. We're coming into this fort to get the ammo. Everybody. This is something that you, you want to do when you don't have your own supply. You uh, take the supply that's in there. Oh, so they went this they went this way to get out. They ran this way to get out. So 53, 23, 39, 35, 61. And and we captured their full, you know, regiment basically is what we did. And like I said, this is the way you want to do it. Like you, you don't want them to get away and chase them on the global map. And so we have, uh, basically what we have is we have four companies that fell outside because these four started to leave. He lost an officer, so that's going to cost us an officer. Alright, well, okay, I think that's enough. Everybody's at, at, at back to full condition. They got full ammo. So we're all good. And again, like I said, this is very confusing when you're using, you know, the French, the Spanish, and even the natives. You're not going to see anything here if you don't have your own units in it. So, I mean... So, you know, it's it's hard to judge what actually happened unless I were to click on each unit. But as you can see here, 398 infantry were killed, four guns, and 260 are missing. And then when we go to here, we see that the Spanish and the one French regiment were captured, but they're not. But this it says captured. So this is what this is what's what's kind of weird. Um, I guess you can look at it as whichever one is French and whichever one is Spanish, and you can figure out by the names. Like Federico Mendez is probably Spanish. Uh, you know what I mean. So, but anyways, um, and this guy's probably French. But uh, anyways. And that one too, probably. But anyways, okay, so what I'm saying is I wish that they could really f work on this because it's, you know, but, 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 but I realize that it does show each of these uh, companies right here and it shows what they did, I guess. But, but for the status, it shows captured and just, it should say allies or something like they they you can tell that when the devs made this game and when they were developing the, the development of this game that this is something that they obviously didn't think of even though they they knew that they were going to give us depending on our diplomacy they were going to give us spanish french and even some natives um so so they knew that this was going to happen they just didn't plan for it when they made this uh, battle report. They did not plan for that. That's the only thing that I can think of. That's that's you know if I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me. But I mean that's the way it is. Um, I'm not trying to pick on them. I'm just trying to say that you know you knew that you were going to let us have uh, Spanish and French and and natives. Well, why can't you account for them in the battle report? Because it just looks kind of silly that nobody faced the uh, British and only the British are in there. That she, you know, it <laughs> just doesn't. I mean, it, I'm just nitpicking, I guess. Okay, so again, so yeah, so we we it looks like look at there's some of these guys here. I wonder if they were attacking them too, or are they coming over here to fight? But we're gonna claim this. So we're going to see if these guys fight us or are they fighting the British. 
So now a, a good thing to do is um, I could break these guys up, but again, I'm going to just tell them to go here and try to claim this. Oh, uh, and then these things always pop up, and I, I don't like that. I, I could have surrendered him. Darn it, he didn't surrender. It doesn't make any sense. So I'll just ban them. So yeah, I'm wondering if these uh, natives were fighting for them. Is this still shooting going on? As a matter of fact, well, there's a lot of things going on in the game, so let me just go ahead and, and drop these guys in. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game again because we're already in April. And um, so I got this Fort 96. Um, we got this Fort right now. Now, it can go up to 1,500. Um, I don't know if I were to go like this. Oh, it's going to be 177 days. So, yeah, that's... But, uh, you know, and the funny thing is, look at the loyalty. Automatically switched. Okay, so, then, I think what I will do... Let's take a look over here. So, we can go to 1500, so it's possible... I can bring in another regiment, so let's go ahead and do that. Fire, fire. And, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to move the here. general. I'm going to move the general over here so we can see what's going on. See what they do with my general. that they're fighting somebody but I don't see who they're fighting. My general is at 50 manpower. I cannot I cannot figure it out but we don't see the enemy. Alright, well, I, I can't see who they're fighting, so I'm gonna go. Advance quickly. I don't know what's going on. He, and the Phantom Trader. No, 3,000. Uh, uh, I'm I, sorry. Um, I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. So, lawyer. Okay. Okay, so our loyalists are alarmed. Faced with the threat of a continental army of any British officials and frontier issues, I call for loyalists to join the ranks. In response, a significant number of loyalists, loyalists are volunteers and military units rallied for the British cause bolstering the defense of Fort James. So pause. Oh, so this is Fort James. So they automatically spawn... Uh, units right here to come in so it looks like then you know Fort James will be the next thing uh, that I will attack and so the, the question would be 
for me at this point in the game is if they're gonna leave Unionville and, and not attack it like maybe they they could attack maybe I don't know if they they can so I got I got 21 here I got 15 here and we got seven there six whatever and we got this guy here so what I'm thinking is if this is gonna be the target because they just reinforced it Then why not, even though I should be trying to build them up, um, why don't I send them to here and we'll, we'll, um, we'll join that. March! March! Keep moving! General. Push through. All right, I'm going to pause the game for a moment because this is a lot going on up here. Let's see. So we have a schoolhouse in Christfield, a town hall in King Street, barracks in Georgetown. Grain mill in Fort Clinton. A grain mill in Fort St. Pierre. Ironworks in Bennington. And the only reason I'm reading this and showing you this is because these are all the things that are populating on, on of where I'm building. And if if anybody's interested in it, at least you'll know what I'm building at this time of the game. So, but anyways, construction ironworks. 96 was captured. Project department reorganization is finished, so I gotta, I gotta do that, but once I do that, the game will start again. So I'm just gonna read the rest of these. Carpenter shop, a capital, a supply house, an arsenal, a dry dock, a lumber mill, and a shipyard in Baltimore. National Committee is available. Um, not all factories. Okay, so this will show you the tech that I got in this particular Quartermaster Chief. You know, you can see all the tech that I've done. And so if we move it over to here, You can see that we just got our four things to go. So I think I'm going to do this one. Unit provisions and ammunition. Look at this, minus five ship maintenance. Now that would be nice. So yeah, so that's what's going on right now in the game. And I think this video has probably gone on long enough. And, and I'm maxed out on intelligence. And matter of fact, my money is low. So I want to go to goods. And you can see right now by me in this game at this time period, you can see that I, I've got 429 furs. Now that's going to give me $120,000. And now that puts me up to 166000 so just by selling this one item, you know what I mean? 
Um, I think that is good. And if you look now, do you remember in one of my videos a long while ago, remember when I got those 20 regiments of French and I told you that I have to make a lot of granaries because you got to feed them? Well, now look. I'm in a surplus of, of food now. And so that strategy of building all those when I panic is now paying off because not only do I have 20 French or I lost one so 19 but I still got 20 Spanish so I mean I gotta feed them all so I don't have a food problem and because I'm at 166,000 at this moment I don't feel that I have to sell any of this stuff the only thing I'm lacking is copper So I could buy that. That's the only thing that I'm lacking is copper at the moment. I think it's because I'm building ships or I'm building uh, those guns. So yeah, so I think this is enough to show you. You can see and look at it. Like I said, they just... Okay, so this is kind of funny, right? They just told us that they reinforced uh, James. And now it looks like these guys are moving out and they're going somewhere else. So technically... So technically, maybe I don't need all this to take this. Right? Maybe. But, you know what I mean? But I, I can't, I can keep playing, but I mean, I, I can't keep making the video longer and longer and longer. And so you got to see some of the things. Um, so I, I imagine if, let's say if I put him like this and I tell him to go to here and he goes to here. And then, if I look at the ship over here... We're, we're fully repaired. Now, do I... Do I, at this point... I don't... I don't have... Yeah, I don't I don't have I don't I can't I can't make any better guns for them right now, so so this ship is okay. So do you wanna see Should I take these guys out? Should I take these guys out to, to, to do a final thing in this video? And do we go to sea and do we, we attack an enemy? Let's see. Because we can always leave. Oh, gee. Yeah, I mean. No. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take all these ships and go after a cutter. So we'll just uh We'll just blow this up. And then, again, this is a constant thing that's happening. Constant. It's a constant thing. As long as you have a lot of money, they're gonna this game is gonna ask you for that all the time so yeah so we, we killed that we killed that ship and by doing that we didn't even gain one point in uh repetate okay all right yeah we're gonna do it okay so we got okay so this is good we got another third rate to fight and I do have a third rate, and I have all these guys, so we are gonna, this, yeah, because 
this would be a way of me getting another third rate. And then maybe I could get rid of some of my frigates, maybe, and um, and and keep the two uh, third rates to fight. But this will show you another battle, and this will be the last thing I show you in this video. Okay, so where is? Okay, so now, what the heck is going on here? Are you telling me that my ships are still severely damaged? Except this one? That this ship and this ship... Oh, man. Okay, well, tell you what. This guy is not damaged, so he's coming this way. And here's my third rate ship. Yeah, see it so the AI has uh, got the got they got the uh, wind and we don't, but we do, but um, I'm thinking these guys, these two These two are going to kind of head that way, I guess. Because he's missing a gun, and this guy, you know, yeah. So I, I shouldn't have brought these out. I, but I didn't know what I was going to face. So I, I thought I would show you something. But but I'm thinking um, if I... He, he's coming this way, so if I, if I start turning around... And we gotta get we gotta get everybody on full sail. Okay, now I don't know if what's he, what what he's planning on doing because it's gonna be hard for us to get down here unless the wind changes. Because the whole point of me doing this battle is to capture this third-rate ship. So I could have two third-rates. Because here's my third-rate, and here's my 60-gun ship, Frigate. I mean, I don't see how this is gonna, this thing gonna go right. Because of the wind. Man. said if if he retreats I'll still engage him to, to hope that the wind will be different because this is ridiculous okay I'm gonna anchor this ship because it looks like he's sinking.
I mean, if I lose that ship, I, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. Because I, mean, I, I got a third rate ship, but I can't get to this third rate ship to get this guy. And, and I don't even know oh, that it is that 28 gun ship or whatever. Alright, we'll go 10 times the speed. I mean. How does the AI go against the wind and, and get away like this? This is totally 100% ridiculous. I mean. Okay, so the wind changed a little bit. Yep. Now, like I said, I didn't take speed perks for these ships. Now, I don't know if I did, if it would have helped me, but I did tell you that these, these sea lanes are pretty long. Um, Oh, uh, did he get out? Oh, oh the, the waves. Yeah, see, this is ridiculous. I don't know what to tell you, folks. And this video is going to be... going to be long if I try to engage him again. This is making me think I should have went with um, speed perks instead, but nonetheless. This is terrible. <laughs> this, this is terrible. I mean, I, I I don't know, but this yeah, there's the border. He's gonna get out of the battle. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Now it says I lost 444 men. Because that ship sunk and I lost 444 men. Check it out. So, yeah. Okay. But I told you I don't care. I mean, I'm just, you know, at the point, at this point, um, I'm totally disappointed the way this game w operates, the naval part of this game. Like, it's... I mean, that's a third-rate ship. He should have engaged me. I've already... I had two ships that were highly damaged, so those didn't count. And matter of fact, one sunk. And he's saying... And they're saying that I lost the whole crew. Um, and so, yeah... So again, I'm going to tell him to engage. Okay, so we're going in again. And let's see, let's hope that I'll be within reach of this ship. I mean, because if I'm not in within reach of this ship... And don't forget, I have a second ship that's highly damaged, so I mean... <laughs> 
he gets he gets to shoot by ships. Let me see, should I Let's see if I move this ship he's gonna miss. Uh-uh, you know what I mean? Like okay, so Yeah, whatever, we're gonna just do it. Because we're not gonna we're gonna try to not let this guy We're gonna try to not let this guy get away. We got three ships, over 400 men on each of them, and we already know that if we don't time it right, uh, he, he might beat us. So we, we gotta get it over here. Let's go. Full sails. So one uh, one third rate against a third rate, and we will see if we can take this ship because that's all I want is to take this ship. And he's gonna come down here to try to block this guy, while these two try to catch up to him. This ship is taking a long time. So these frigates, they don't go fast. Oh yeah, we got this guy here, but I don't care about him at the moment. Now these frigates are gonna get hurt by him. Okay, so now I'm thinking if, if he's going to take a long time to get here. I'm going to send him down this way. Send him this way. I'm 
just knocked out his mass. gonna do this badly again if, if only he can do this. Okay, we're, we're gonna try if I can just get this ship here. Now he's gonna cut in a little bit. Otherwise, he's gonna sink. So, I mean, we, we gotta try to launch this. This is going to be tight. Uh, now he did something smart. He stopped midway and, and put me into this bad situation again. So I'm gonna come over here then. Yeah, so this is, oh jeez, boy, I'll tell you what. Boy, these things sometimes just don't work out the way you plan them. He's gonna kill my unit that I got. Yeah, I think he's gonna sink. Dang it! Son of a gun. All right, well, you know what? We are gonna shoot him. We're just going to anchor right there and shoot him then. Yeah, so I lost the unit because of him blasting him in the lifeboat. Couldn't get to the air, so... And this one's sinking, and, and it's okay. I mean, if I can, if I can get this third raid, then I'll have two third raids. And then I can scrap all these other oh, these frigates. I mean.
But if if he if he does, and he ain't able to come this way, I might be able to capture him. Ah, uh, he killed another one of my lifeboats. On it. And this guy already lost a a mass. This is not going good at all, I tell you. the way it is. It, it is so hard to line up two ships to take him out. And the AI is tremendous for going against the wind. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. doing whatever I can. I, can. I can't do much. I mean, we'll just blast him and blast him. I mean, that's all I can do. It's unfortunate. It really is. Of all the, f the way, the way this, <laughs> this, this, this goes. I mean, seriously. I mean, it, it's it's making me think I'm going to have to go with speed perks on these ships instead of, you know, using the guns. And in all the battle, I lost 400 and some guys on one of the ships because it sunk. I mean, it makes me want to kill the ship, you know what I mean, instead of uh, taking it over. Okay. 
good. We're gonna see if we can continue this and get him. Because, like I said, I, I know if I can get him, I will scrap these uh, frigates and I will just wait till these two get prepared. We'll go out into the third rates. See, they're, they're shooting and they're killing my, my lifeboats. I mean, even on long distance shooting, that, that, that they're killing my lifeboats. And you can see how, like I said, the frigates, you know, they, they end up losing their mass to a big ship like this. So anyways, so I've lost quite a bit out here to try to take this third raid out. Um, and like I said, you know, because of that, like, and like I said, normally you would save the game before you do a sea battle with this. But once I lost that badly damaged ship and, and I lost 400 guys, that would have been a point to reload it and go and not bring that ship into the battle, just like not bring in the other ship. But we did have one of these 60 gun ships that was fully repaired, and we had this that was fully repaired. So, but but I, but I'm doing this and saying, you know, I don't I don't I don't care. I'm just gonna take a thousand guys lost and a couple of ships lost, and it's you know it is what it is. I was gonna anchor, but then he's going that way, so maybe I could. And, it's, and again, it's against the wind, and the AI does this all the time. <laughs> Try to mimic what the AI does, it gets away with it against the wind, you know what I mean? I, could, I can't do it because I can't close in on him. I'm trying to close in on him, but we can't. Oh, jeez. Alright, so I didn't know I got the snowflake. Oh, he, he gave up. Hold on. Pause. Pause. He gave up. <laughs> he actually gave up. Okay, I need to have uh, this one. Drop out a sailor. And get on this ship right here. He just gave up, so we're gonna do it. So yeah, so I mean, if we blast him... I, okay, so if we blast him enough... And he gives up, then that's one way too to get him, so we'll do that. And now 
we've got the ship that we want. He lost some mass, so this is going to be an enormous thing. To, he's going to have to stay in port for a very long time to get repaired. But um, I got a second, third rate now. At the cost of a couple of frigates, I would have to say. Now, if this guy thinks he's going to come over here and get him... And now my... This, this ship here will come this way. Let's go. Because if he thinks he's going to get this, he ain't going to. And matter of fact, once he... Once this guy... Once he clears... You know, then this guy is going to be able to shoot. He's doing that. So that's nice. And I don't care. We'll, we'll destroy this guy if we have to. Uh, that's what we do. Now, I'm going to put my third rate against him. And matter of fact, on my, my, I'll tell you what, on my third rate, I've got, he used to have, I think he only had four pounders or six pounders, so I put like 12 pounders on him. So my third rate is slightly better than their third rate. I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna camp out and, 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 and blow this guy up. That's what we're gonna do. If I put him like that, yep. Yeah, and so he he killed a lot of my lifeboats. So I'm going to kill, I am going to kill and make sure all of his lifeboats die. This is, this is payback for killing my lifeboats. Yep, there you go. So that's it. Okay, so, you know, the job, you know, it took a while. The job got done. This, this guy s survived, you know, he's so damaged, but I'm going to scrap him, is, is, my, is my thing. I'm going to keep the two third rates. Alright, so he's going to sit there, and we're going to go ten times speed. Okay, so he is gonna anchor. This guy is anchored. And uh, this guy is anchored. Why he is not um, gaining condition is beyond me. Because now I'm gonna sail these guys to the port. And I just want to make sure that they're at 100% condition so they can get quickly to the port, just in case any other ships engage us. And it's just gonna take a moment. Yeah, and so if you look here, oh, and I got a lifeboat over here that survived. So I better send him here, otherwise he would die. So you can't leave any lifeboats on the ocean, because they'll all be dead. So technically, if when I leave, if I left those lifeboats, they would have uh, died too. But I, but I'll kill them just for extra shooting ability to get a little bit of XP. 
And so yeah, so that so that lifeboat. Luckily, I seen that lifeboat. That's think about it. There was four uh, lifeboats, and th their ships killed three of them and stuff. So that. And if you remember correctly, I sent one of the lifeboats out to capture to capture that little ship that was here, and then the the, the third rate killed it. So I mean. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, okay, so we're, we're good. We're gonna go to the global map. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look and see. So one of my ships sunk, you know, and I lost 500 crew. But uh, in the end, they also lost 500 crew. One captured, one sunk. So, yep, there you go. That's what it was. Okay, so that is it. So I'm just going to run the video long enough to get to the f to the harbor. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a scrap those two ships. And I'm going to take a look and show you the third rate of the enemy and show you what kind of guns they got on there and then I can show you what's on my third rate because I know I I upgraded the guns on my third rate a little bit. And so, you know, again, uh, I just want to show you that. So, okay, yeah, and see there's... Uh, all right, let me... Why is it showing British here when it's showing my squadron? Okay, what's going on? Okay, we're going to try to get to port. Oh, yeah, we got to port. Good. So, yeah, because they still got... They still got a lot of ships. Okay, so and then what? What? And look at this. <laughs> look at this. It's, this is like a, this is a constant thing that happens in this game. <laughs> okay, so, epidemic in Patriot camps. The outbreak of deadly epidemic in the Patriots camps leads to a significant reduction in troops numbers and logistic problems. We are facing and some new disease. So, uh, some soldiers died. Of disease infantry brigades lost 409 soldiers and then this one died of disease infantry yeah 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 Th this is this is just uh, I don't I mean you know what I mean uh, I'll, I'll recover from it but it's just it's just this thing like it's this game is, is giving you constant things like this all the time like it, it, it's it's almost hilarious I'm gonna pause the game because I do not want any more time advancing. And I'm just, I just, all I want to do is get over to here. And, and as far as um, these two ships. I don't know. I really don't know if I want to keep them. Like. I'm thinking uh, my fleet is going to be very costly, so I, I, I think I think I'm actually going to, because and also it'll free up these 12 pounders. So I'm going to go ahead and scrap it. I can always I can always um, I can always make these guys again. Like I can always do that. Yeah, see on here I had 24 pounders. So yeah, I'm going to scrap them. Uh, because, you know, like I said, um, it takes a long time for these guys to get healed up or repaired. And stuff like that. And, you know, m in my opinion, like, I just... Um, it's no point. Like, because now these, these third rates are probably going to cost me quite a bit for maintenance. But... So yeah. So yeah. So okay. So just an example, though, right? Like okay. So 
if we're gonna just sit far away and shoot at ships, we'd want the guns. But you know, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna on this guy. I'm gonna go with speed. I, I'm tired of being like not being able to catch ships. So I I'm gonna go with s speed on that one. And on uh, this one, uh, again, we'll do that. And we will do speed. So this guy, I got guns. And on this guy, uh, the new one, uh, I will have speed. So I'm going to go ahead... Okay, yeah, so I wanted to show you this. Okay, so as you can see here, right, they got they got four pounders. This is the British ship that I just captured. So they, they come with four pounders. So I can at least put nine pounders on it. And the 18s and the 24s, like we know we can't put 32s on there. Um, and yeah, so I, I can't, yeah, so. So we'll, we'll do that. So again, so yeah, so they had four pounders, so I put nine pounders. So I got nine pounders, 18 and 24 on my ship. And I got nine pounders, eighteen and twenty-four now on this ship. And and I'll just call this one the USS New uh, Bedford Mass. And I can even say whalers, because that's what New Bedford was all about way back in this kind of age of the time. They went out going after whales. <laughs> so and there's a whaling museum in New Bedford, Massachusetts, if you want to see it. <laughs> but anyways, all right, there we go. So that is all that I am going to show you in this game until something major happens. So that is going to be it. I mean, I tried to hurt them in this ocean here, as you can see. And now I have two third-rate ships, but it's going to take a while for them to go. And then when I come out, I'm going to have a thousand sailors, and I'm going to have these two third-rates. And, and we'll see that they got five ships with 578. So hopefully when these guys are repaired, I can come out here and destroy this fleet. Then once I do that, I can then come out this way and come to Boston and take out this Bellona and this Arden right here. And uh, that's what I think I can do. And so again, and I have already shared my thoughts on the South as far as, you know, uh, Look what's going on here. I mean, there's something going on here with this nation. Yeah, these guys are pretty hurt. I mean, it, it seems like we're taking unnecessary losses or something. I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know if the game is screwing up. Alright, so I'm going to send them to there, I believe. Send him over there. He 
We should have 1200, it's only showing 438, so there's something like a bug or something going on. And so I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just withdraw and stuff. And then I think I'm gonna just build up and things of that nature. And, and try to figure out the best way to finish this. You know, I don't know. They got a lot of fleet here. So yeah, I don't know. I wish some of you would leave messages on how you feel the campaign is going or whatever, but it's, it's, I don't know. I just don't know what else to do. This is a long video. And, and I just don't like these Spanish units getting depleted like this, just being out in the open. So I don't know, there's, some, there's, there's a bug going on or there's something going on. And I don't know if the natives are fighting the British, and if they are, that's that's fantastic. But my plan for invading uh, this area is not really working or something, and so I'm gonna have to think up a whole new strategy and stuff. And we gotta look at the the population here, as you can see. So why don't I drop a church? And why don't I drop a printing press? And this is gonna take a long time, so there's no point of that. Matter of fact, I got Calvary just sitting here. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm just looking on these things to think maybe... Maybe if I put some churches in, uh, the, the, the... I put a merchant stall there. Yeah, I see a church. A church and a I'll make another granary. Yeah, say so I can I can make some merchant stalls and make some money. Do a military barracks there. So yeah, there's a lot of things that you can see you can continue to do and stuff. So but anyways, I think I've shown quite a bit in this video and I, and I'm, I'm thinking that I'm I'm at a stagnated point where I gotta I gotta think about more strategy and stuff so no matter where you are in the world have a great day a great afternoon a great evening please take care of yourselves be kind to others god bless to you keep all religions equal this is your friend jeff signing out adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas uh,